Love it. This is exactly what I meant with mixing realism and doodles. I really enjoy when you combine those two. Yeah, I've been working on that a lot. I'm trying to incorporate realism with my doodling or abstract drawing because I want to make something that's different and that's not already out there. And I'm trying to figure out what that is exactly, but I feel like I'm getting there, figuring out my, what it is that it is my you know, technique that works for me when I'm drawing. And you have two completely different type of artists. You have ones that are do only realism and you have the ones that do only abstract. And I'm trying to bring the two together to make something that's completely different, something completely new. You know, such as drawing a portrait, but then having you know the, the face come apart into something else that's abstract, so that you've got two complete opposite art styles that are combining and merging into one. Um, and I find it as a really beautiful art style, and it really shows diversity and ability to draw on different styles and it shows that you're you're capable of doing more than just you no know, one type of thing and with you know, as good as photography is nowadays when you look back um picasso has said once about what the point was of drawing things so realistic if you know we've got you know this photography and everything now and he thought it would be irrelevant and i to a point i understand that but I also have to disagree in a way because there's a lot of commitment and a lot of work and dedication and skills required in drawing that. And I think that if, if you want to be able to draw things that are abstract, that are also interesting, you have to be able to understand anatomy and how to draw you know, proportions and to draw properly so that you can you know, draw a portrait and incorporate, incorporate that into your abstract drawing. And you know, that's what I'm trying to do. And... Um, if you can't even do, you know, you know, the basics of drawing and you, know, you struggle with that, it's going to show up if you try to do abstract drawing because I think that if you can't draw things, you know, very diverse and it's all, you know, just the same, you're just going to have the same pattern over and over. And it might just be you know, a slightly different shape or, you know, maybe a different color or different line width or something like that. And being able to draw realistically, it, enables you to for when you're trying to draw abstract to draw in a, d a different angle you know draw a different perspective and make things look completely different and interesting and you'll fully understand what it is that, how to really capture something in the image that you're trying to draw and you know when you're adding that to your abstract drawing it's going to make it look just that much better and i think people get to where they focus on one thing or one aspect of the drawing you know, they're just focusing on only doing an abstract or they're only focusing on doing uh, portrait drawing and realism. I think that there needs to be a combination of both to really you know, truly understand art. And if, you know, if you're only doing one, one thing, it's very one-dimensional and you don't have as many options out there for you know, if you're wanting to sell or you know, job opportunities or, or selling prints. And so... I, I think that you no, know, it helps me a lot doing that. You no, know, just exploring different avenues of art and you know, different styles and different ways of drawing. And with realism, there's a lot of dedication and there's a lot of um, commitment doing, you know, learning all of it. And then with abstract, it's more freeing and, and expressive, and it's just more relaxing and it's not as you know tedious and as monotonous as it can be when you're trying to do a portrait. But um, when when I'm adding the two together and I'm trying to do a drawing, I find I like a balance of the two to where, you know, if I'm doing something that's constantly just about expression and just about one side of it, I, I tend to get bored in a way. And then I want something that's a bit of a challenge. So I think as long as you have a challenge there and you're adding that into when you're doing abstract, it'll help you to improve and to get better. And you know, that's one of the reasons why I'm drawing is to improve and to get better. And so I'm trying to combine the two to make the best art I can that's interesting, that's not only abstract, that has no meaning and isn't interesting to look at. And so it's it, it's a challenge sometimes, and I like that challenge. And I feel it's helping me to improve as an artist. And 
I think if you add the two together and you really work on it and you know figure out what it is and how you like to draw, I think it'll help you too.